Hey guys, Steve Harris here. Thanks for stopping by MuseThemes.com. We have a new widget ready for you. It's called the Eventbrite Ticketing Widget. So if you've ever purchased tickets online to an event or to a conference, something like that, you've probably encountered the Eventbrite system before. You can see on this example site we have set up here, uh, we have a networking event and you can click purchase tickets. When you do that, we get a light box pop-up that comes up and we get the Eventbrite ticketing system here showing. So we have two different classes of tickets. We have general admission and VIP. And then of course you could select as many tickets as you want, click register. It's going to redirect you to the event Right website where you can go ahead and complete your registration. You can even set up payment info so that users can pay for their attendance at your event. So it's a really nice event and ticketing system. We think it's probably the best one out there on the market. And setting this up in Muse is actually really simple. Here's another page of our example site, which is a little bit more oriented towards bands. So you can see we have a whole bunch of kind of demonstration bands set up here. And now on this page, instead of a button that launches the Eventbrite system in a pop-up, we have it actually just embedded right here on the page. So these are two different options that we built directly into the widget for you to integrate it into your website. So let's go ahead and get this set up. It's really easy and really fast. It won't take very long here to do this video. So first of all, I have downloaded the widget directly into Muse already. So just download it from our site and double click it and it drops into the Muse library panel. The next thing we'll do is drag the Eventbrite widget out onto the page and we'll look at the panel here. So as you can see on top, we have the event ID, obviously an important one that will link the widget itself here to your actual event that you create on Eventbrite. Then we have some display settings. These are for things like changing the button from a button or launching a light box, changing the ticketing preview to be embedded or in a light box, that sort of thing. Then we have some light box settings below where we can change the light box width, the background color and the opacity, that sort of thing. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new event on the Eventbrite site, and then we'll go ahead and get this linked up in Muse. So first things first, go to Eventbrite and sign up for an account. I signed up for one. It was very fast to do. They just require a email address and name. So let's click create event in the top right corner and create something quickly. So we of course need an event title. Let's go demo event, a location. Let's pretend this is in San Francisco. There you go. Okay, I won't bother putting in an address, just that's good enough. Now we have the event time and start date. So of course, we'll just leave this set at default here, but you'd set this specific to your event. Now we can drag and drop an image in here if you want an image to show up in the kind of top right corner of the event. I'll leave that blank for now. Now we have an event description down here. So we'll just put in, again, demo event from use themes, okay? We can add FAQ, we can edit the organizer, we can include links to Facebook and Twitter. There's lots of setup options on here on the Eventbrite side, but I won't go through everything. So now we need to create the ticket type. So we click what type of ticket would we like to start with? Let's go free ticket first. So we'll go free access ticket. Maybe there's a hundred of them available and price is free. Now we'll do a paid ticket and we'll call that VIP access. And there's maybe only 50 of those and we'll set the price at let's say $100. Okay, so there you go. Now we've got the ability also to set up an edit tax and edit the currency type. Now we have additional settings. How do we want this event listed, publicly or privately? Well, I'm, I'm gonna set this to private. Private doesn't mean that it won't show up on your Muse site, but what it means it's not going to list the event on the Eventbrite uh, search engine or homepage. So it's a private page and we can set up some options here for can we share it on social? Is it invite only? Let's just leave that at this. We don't want it password protected or anything like that. Remaining tickets, show the remaining tickets on registration page. Sure, let's turn that on so you can see. Okay, we'll click save. So the event's gonna save on the Eventbrite side. We have to make it live before we can see it, but you'll notice now that we've saved it, there's this little kind of character or list of characters at the top that says EID equals, and that's the event ID. So it's this long string of numbers. So let's go ahead and copy that since we have it accessible. And let's go back to Muse. And now that I've obviously dragged this widget on the page, let's paste that in the event ID box on top there. So now our event is linked up to the Eventbrite system already. We can go ahead and style these options after. I'll just finish up on the Eventbrite side first. Okay, so once I've kind of created this, right now it's saved as a draft, but it says, you're almost done. Our event is not quite live. So the next thing you would do is choose a design. 
and in choose the design this is where you can set color options so you can select different themes like a kind of black one or blue one let's just leave it on the white theme for now but you can go ahead and design your own on the right side too and set all of these custom colors so everything looks good it's showing our event info we've got the right ticketing info the map is right so everything looks good so once we're happy with it let's click create or make event live and there so now our event is live on the web and it gives you some options now once you've set it up on the event dashboard to set up payment options. You can click confirm payment options and you can go ahead and enter in your actual payment and banking info. They have their own payment processor even. So you can go ahead and just enter in your address and your banking info and you're good to go as far as collecting payments online. So now that we've got the event all set up and we're ready to start working with it in Muse, let's jump back into Muse. And as you know, I've already pasted in the event ID here into our widget, so it should be linked up to my event. Okay, so let's look at the display settings. So first up here is we have the display type. We've got a button, which of course will look like this, or we can change the button to anything we want, but clicking on it will bring up the Eventbrite ticketing system. Next thing we can change is to go to the ticket preview. And you'll notice that button type here then grays out. And the only option below is this ticketing preview display type. We have embedded and light box. So the ticketing preview system, you can see how it's all kind of crammed into this little frame here. There's a little note on the widget that says for embedded ticket preview option, resize and drag widget size to set preview iframe dimensions. Okay, so that means you just need to drag this to actually scale up to the size that you want the preview to be. So there, you actually get a really, really nice in Muse preview for this. So let's preview it in the browser. And as you can see, our ticketing info is here as I set up the free access and VIP access. Users can select quantity, check out, so everything's looking good. So this is the embedded ticketing system, but let's go ahead and let me move this over so we have some more room. Let's change this back to a button. Now we have a default button or a custom button. So the default button looks something like this. We'll preview that again so we can see it. So there's the actual default button. This comes from the Eventbrite side. When we click on it, it goes to the event page on Eventbrite. But let's say we wanna do a custom button. The way that we do that is we change the button type to custom. And now we have custom button style. So for that, I recommend you use a state button. We've done this in other videos. So bring a state button widget out on the page, select a graphic style for it. So I'm going to create a style for this called event. Okay. And then let's go back in the widget and change the graphic style to event and there. So now that custom button, this one here goes to our event bright ticketing system. Okay. That's working really well. Next thing, let's have a look at the panel here and we have, let's change this actually back to be the display type to be the ticket preview. And then we have the option to embed it as I did before or to pop it up in a light box. And so when we do that, we get a different custom button style for the light box. So I'm actually gonna set this to event, okay? And now this button that I'd set up before should launch this in a light box rather than launching it in a separate window to the Eventbrite system. There, so you can see we get kind of this modal pop-up and it's looking really good. So now we can style those these lightbox controls. And as you can see, because I set this to lightbox, all of these settings down below then enable. So we've got lightbox width, let's go to 600 maybe, height 400. We can change the background color and the opacity. Let's go up something a little more solid, so 0.8. Then we just have the lightbox open and close effect. So if we just want a simple fade or we can have something called elastic, which is a little bit more dynamic, a little faster. Let's just leave them both at fade for now and that's it. So now clicking this state button should launch this in a pop-up or rather a light box. Okay, and there you go. And you can see that the background has changed, light box size is bigger. So that's it. This is a great widget for any sort of event or let's say for a band or maybe community theater, networking event, conferences. It's a great way to sell tickets and even to collect the payment info from them right on your website. So that's the Eventbrite system widget. If you have any questions or concerns with it, please let us know. Best of luck and thanks again. Cheers.